So in part four, we had a quick look at middleware software and middleware is kind of a function where it intercepts a particular route and then runs some code. So we have some examples of middleware right here. These are technically middleware as well because all they do is when we go to a particular route, it then runs this code inside it. So express.static um, that we run here, is it basically converts it basically is a f it delivers a function that looks something like this as well. So what we're going to do now is just write some of our own middleware functions. And I'm going to intercept this root hello. So the first thing you want to do is, like when we set up the roots, we just want to specify the type of method. So I'm just going to go with get. Next thing you do is you specify the path. So I'm going to put hello like this. And if you don't give the path right here, it'll be executed for all get requests. And if you don't want it to just be get requests, you can use app.use like this. So if you just do app.use without the path, it'll do it for every single request. Then what we want to give it as a second argument is a function that takes in a request, oops, a request response and this thing called next, which I'll explain in a bit. So this is similar to what we were doing here. So then what we can do is we can do whatever we want with this request and response right here. And then there's two ways we can end it. So we can end it like we did here where we send a file or we send a string or a JSON from the response object or we can call this next method. So this next is actually a method. So what this will do is it'll intercept this get hello request. It'll do whatever we want with this request and response. Then, uh, so we can add stuff to the request, for example, like headers. And then what it'll do is it'll look at the next um, thing to in next thing to intercept on this route, and I'll be doing this. So what I can do here is, for example, is I can just do log the if I want the request dot method or something, or log the request dot ip like this. So these these are just fields that are in this request that I can look at here. So if I save that and then start at the app, and if I go to localhost 3000 slash hello, we can see that the page is loaded. That's because it's done all of this now and it, it's then called the next method, which has done this. But we can see that we have the method logged right here, which was a get, and we have the IP address logged here, which was just one in this case. So that's essentially what they want us to do here, but instead they want us to do for all routes, it needs to log the method, the path, and the IP. So we can do that. So it says here that we have to do number seven here, and that's because um, we don't want this these to run before our middleware interception is completed. So again, remember, I put the middleware that we wanted to do first in first in the code, because Express will just um, execute these in the order that they're specified. So we want to put, put it right here. And firstly, we, it's it says that we should do it for, um, for every request. So that means for every method. So we can't use app.get or app.post or app.put here. We have to use app.use. Secondly, it says that it has to be, um, it's, again, because it says every request, it means every path. So we don't specify a path here. We just give it the function. So if we don't specify a path, it does it for every path. Then next, we need a function that takes in a request, a response, and the next part. And what they want us to do is console.log the um, method path and IP in this format. So the first thing they want us to do is log the uh, method. So I can just do console.log here. And then I can say request.method because the method is just stored in a field called method in the request. Then I can put a space here like this. Uh, so yeah, that's a space. And then we can do request.path. And then it has to be a space dash space, I think. Um, yeah, space space dash space. And then finally the IP. So and then request.ip like this. And I don't know, I don't think there's anything else that we need to do. Nope. So 
then what we can do is make sure it runs whatever path is next. So we'll just call the next method. So what this will do is for any request, it'll log these details and then it'll call next. So if we're getting slash, for example, it'll do all of this and then run this. If we're getting slash JSON, for example, it'll do this and then it'll do this. So yeah, that's been saved now. So I'm just going to open up the log here, which is essentially the console. And what I'm going to do now is just copy the address of the app, paste it in here. And we can see the page has been loaded, but um, what's the problem here? If I just refresh this. Hmm. One second. Hmm. I'm not sure why it's not working, but I'm going to try submitting it. It might just be an error with glitch. Yeah, so it works anyway. Um, I don't know why it's not doing that, but um, it's not coming up in the console, but it seems to pass the test anyway. So theoretically, yeah, this is all you need to really do. Um, yeah, hopefully it should work when you try it as well.